Based on the information that we have here, we will solve the problem through the four steps that we have learned in problem one. Now let's read. What do I have? Ihab and his brother went on a fishing trip for two days. On the first day, each of them caught an African tiger fish. And on the next day, only Ihab caught a what? Marble longfish. We need to know the average length of all the fish they caught together. So again, how do I think and what do I do? The first step is to determine what the question is asking for. What is the question asking for? It's asking for the average length of the fish they caught in the two days. So the numbers that we will use to get the solution are the average length of the African fish tiger or tiger fish, which is this number. And we are going to write it twice. Why? Because both of them caught the same type of fish. So we are starting with this. This will be twice. Now, can we start? Yes, we can. What is left? We also need to what? To add the last type of fish, which is the marbled long fish. Where is the marbled long fish? It's this time. So I have two numbers of this number and I have one number of this. So how can I add the three numbers? There are many ways. It is possible to add the first two numbers and then when you get the result, you add to the what? To the third number. So we can start. I will do it this way. I will start adding vertically the first two numbers and the third. Another student might tell me, okay, I want to write the three numbers and align them together and get the answer in the same step. It's okay. Whichever way you're going to use, make sure of your steps. So let's write all the numbers aligned. I will start 104.902. Then I'm going to write it again. 104, 902 thousands. These are the first two numbers. I still need to add the third number, which is what? 201, 168 thousands. The first thing that we need to do is to what? Align our decimal number. Then we're going to start adding. Now, what do I see? 2 plus 2 plus 8. The answer is 12. Now what do I get? I get 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6. So the answer is 7. Now what do I get? I get 9 plus 9, which is 18, plus 1. So the answer is 19. Now let's move on. We are going to group or regroup the 4 and the 1. We get a 5 plus a 4 plus a 1. So what do we get? The answer is equal to 10. Now what do I see? Super easy. 1 plus the zeros, the answer is 1. And then I have 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 4. شوف الحلقة كاملة من خلال تطبيق مدرستنا بلس. مدرستنا مستقبل يبدأ الآن.